Hello YouTube. My favorite free thought blogger Taslima Nasreen has written another blog post that sounds like something Dr. Seuss would write. And it's a doozy. Um, it's called Men Hate Wom Woman's Body. And I'm really tempted to read the entire blog post like this because it goes on and on about how men hate women's body. But I'm going to spare you. Let's just get right into it, shall we? Men hate women's body. Women learn from men to hate their bodies. Men and media have been busy for centuries advertising, advising women what they should look like. Okay, first of all, I googled the first three fashion magazines that I could think of in off the top of my head and Elle Magazine's editor-in-chief is someone named Lorianne Candy. The editors, the editor-in-chiefs of Cosmopolitan are someone named uh, Kate and Helen and Vogue has a lot of them because they're all over the world. Anna, Alexandria, Emmanuel, Daniela, Franca, Angelica, Victoria, Edwina, Christine, Myung, uh, Priya, Elena, Seda, Mitsuko, Rosalie, Kelly, Karen, Yolanda, Paula. Anybody notice anything about those names? Yeah. Anyway. Men hate women's hair as if hair, men hate women's hair if they are not silky and long. Women, <clears throat> most women keep their hair long even though many of them feel comfortable having short hair. They use different chemicals to keep their hair silky. Now all of this shit, she doesn't, she doesn't leave, she doesn't link to anything in this blog post. These are just bald face blanket assertions of bullshittery she pulls out of her ass. But anyway, let's continue. Men do not like the color of our skin. Ever. Like any color. Maybe we should just go for purple. So we bleach our skin or get our skin tanned. We spend almost all our money to buy cosmetics so that we can decorate ourselves and become someone men want us to become. Because we're all women or just brainless automaton idiots like that. We want to make men feel satisfied. Men do not like us when our hair turns gray, so we dye our hair. Men hate women's eyes, eyebrows, nose, lips, cheeks, neck, ears. Women paint their eyes, eyebrows, cheeks, lips. This is how this shit is written. We wear jewelries around our neck. We pierce our noses and ears to wear ornaments. Men hate women's breasts if breasts are not round and large. We wear push-up pad, push padded bras. We go for breast implants. Implants leak, rupture, burst. We increase our cancer risk. Men hate our natural abdominal fat. We almost stop eating to reduce our fat to please men. We suffer from anorexia, bulimia, and other eating disorders. We become skeletons. We die. Men hate us. <laughs> men hate us if our hymens are broken. We need to repair our hymen. Men hate us if our vagina, uh, men hate our vagina if the passage is not very narrow or not very tight. We go for surgery under anesthesia to tighten vagina. That's how it's written. We go for surgery under anesthesia to tighten vagina. Men hate our natural leg hair. We shave our legs to make our legs unnatural. Men hate our legs, so we wear high heel shoes to make us look taller. Our toes get bruised, our bones get broken. You'd think she was on a construction site. 
<laughs> we suffer from sprained ankles and dislocations. Honey, here's what you do, okay? Sometime on the weekend, you go to your local gay bar and look for the most flamboyant, interesting, diva-esque drag queen you can find and ask her to teach you how to walk in heels and she will do it. I'm just saying. We cannot walk comfortably. We cannot run when needed. We need... <laughs> but we continue wearing high heels to give men pleasure. Yes, high heels are just this great male conspiracy to keep us from being able to run in case one of them wants to attack us, right? Men hate our wrinkled skin, so we use all kinds of chemicals or all kinds of anti-wrinkle, anti-aging creams on our faces. I wonder whether people really believe chemicals or creams can stop natural aging process. We even go for face lifting and for different plastic cosmetic surgery to look a bit younger. Men can grow older, but they do not like we grow older. Men can grow older, but they do not like we grow older. Okay. We tell men that we like them for who they are. <laughs> That's right. Every single woman on the planet has told every single man on the planet that we like them for who they are. There is not one shallow female on the face of the earth, just so you all know. They do not destroy their natural body to make us feel happy. They do not implant or reduce anything to please us. They are there there are there are evolutionary reasons for men to get attracted to women and for women to get attracted to men. But patriarchy, a system artificially imposed on society, causes all the injustices and inequalities against women. Patriarchy is a system in which men dominate, oppress, suppress, and exploit women. This system prevents women from being who they really are. The end. Right. Now, I know there's not really much I got to say because I'm pretty sure all of you know how fucking ridiculous this blog post is. But there is one thing I'm going to let her have it about. And that is this part here where she says, Men hate our natural abdominal fat. We almost stop eating to reduce our fat to please men. We suffer from anorexia, bulimia, and other eating disorders. We become skeletons. We die. Honey, anorexia and bulimia and other eating disorders are mental illnesses. And if you just do some basic fucking Googling, you will see that there are a number of things that contribute to causing these illnesses that all fall under uh, body dysmorphic disorder. But nowhere in any research that is creditable that I know of will it ever come out saying body dysmorphic disorders in all of its various manifestations are a cause of men hating you. And yet there are people, thousands of people every year in this country that suffer from this shit and spend all kinds of money on therapy and shit. And you think you're just going to come in with one blog post and tell them that their problem is all because men hate them. Bitch, you know what you're, you know, I know what you're doing. And it's fucking disgusting. You are exploiting the mental illness that these people have as a tool of indoctrination into your fucking patriarchy, man-hating, victim, fucking feminism, 
which makes all feminists look bad because you're an embarrassment. Cult is what you're doing. It's disgusting. And no, you're wrong. Men do have shit that they suffer from. Men do get bulimia. Men do get anorexia. And men also get something more so men than women get something else called bigorexia, which is something that bodybuilders get. It's when you're obsessed with being big. Someone named Greg Valentino actually had it so bad that his biceps got so huge that they exploded. Links will be in the low bar. But I don't appreciate this shit. These people have a serious problem. And you know what I'm wondering? These people have a serious problem and you're trying to exploit that problem to indoctrinate people into your little shit. Victim feminism cult there. Supported by no evidence whatsoever. That is fucking harmful. And I want to know what the fuck you're still, what the fuck Taslima Nasreen is still doing on the free thought blocks. I'm finding it really hard to respect the free thought blogs, the, the, the thing it's in as a whole, when this crazy bitch comes on every five seconds and makes some bullshit assertion, you would have thought she'd have got her shit together when people handed her her ass when she called all prostitution sex slavery. But no. She's still at her fucking shoddy... She, she's, she's a shoddy blogger. She's not a good blogger. She's not a rational-minded blogger. What is she doing on the free thought blogs? I would really, I would think it'd be very interesting if people started writing to whoever is in charge of the free thought blogs and start asking them that. But in the meantime, the link to her blog post will be in my low bar. In case you want to go and let her know whether you agree or disagree with her position. Respectfully, of course. Good night.